friends it is just before midnight so technically it's not day three yet but i've just showered i'm all ready for bed and basically the only time i've been able to fit in reading is before bed because all day i'm either working cleaning filming editing it's a huge part of my life now or just not reading i take the few minutes i can squeeze in but before bed i'm gonna continue with my romance book this is just super fun and easy to read it's honestly embarrassing it's taking me longer than like two days to finish but i'm gonna sit down with this and see how far i can get into it i have no plans for my tuesday so it's gonna be an interesting ride my head is shaped so square i look like a me character oh my gosh it's gonna feel so good to lay down i'm so happy come on gordo Ew, this book is so cringy. They've only been talking as friends for literally a day and she's already telling him how difficult it is for her to orgasm during sex. Like, hello, I'm so uncomfy. I woke up and someone dragged the angel from the Christmas tree onto the floor. I wonder who. Oh, and look, a paper towel is torn up and a fridge magnet is on the living room floor. I wonder who. I woke up at seven and I was like, yay, I'm up early. But for some reason, mama's was sleepy. So I just rolled over in bed and was like, I'm gonna shut my eyes for five more minutes. So that was 7.40. <sighs> I haven't decided if I'm gonna go in a little later or if I'm just gonna do a five minute makeup. Five minute makeup. Makeup pro tip, balm.com from Glossier. Superior lip balm. And there's my five minute makeup. I can't believe I'm leaving the house somewhat on time, but I've got Lamez of Rob and Cheez Its. And I'm ready to walk out the door. Bye, kittens. You gotta clean up while I'm gone. This is a messy apartment. All right, let's go to work. Wait, where's my keys? So I definitely am bringing my laptop today so I can get some work done. I don't want to be miserably behind every time Starting I route to work. This might be my new normal for a month. Come and pick me up, no headlights. Watch me get copyrighted for those five seconds. Alrighty, let's go. By the way, last night I did get further in my book, but I was reading it on Kindle because it was really dark in my room. I didn't want to turn a light on. My life is so hard. And there were a couple parts where I was just groaning out loud at it just because it's so lame. It literally went from the two characters hating each other to her being like, oh my God, but he's so hot with nothing in between. So that's what's annoying me is like, they're cuddling up in this hospital bed for a hospital stay she doesn't even need. So that's how I'm feeling. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record at work today because Kristen's not here so it's not as interesting. See you later. I'm still sitting in the parking lot of my old job so if anyone saw me just know I stand in the 1975. Hi friends! Driving home from work in winter be like sunset when you leave. Today I didn't really record at work because I had a pretty busy day. And by that I mean I did like two things. I was reading during lunch a little bit and I realized I think I'm gonna DNF my book. I'm just not enjoying it, okay? At first I was like, oh, it'll be just like a fun, easy read. The writing style is fine, but the writing style went so downhill once she and the guy started like being a thing. I relate to the bare minimum Twitter where like, <laughs> if someone's nice to you, you fall in love with them. But this girl is seriously overreacting every time he's nice to her. And it's just written so cheesy. And I'm like, why am I reading this? And it's not even a book that was on my TBR. It's just one that I was gonna review. So I decided I'm not gonna and my boss was like yeah I think I'm gonna return to the library I actually have two books to pick up so I might go do that tonight do a little library vlog action 
But once again, I have no plans for the night. I realized last night I forgot to do my buying a book for one of my followers, so I'm gonna have to do two of them today. And I received like over 200 <laughs> wish list links. When I tweeted it, I originally meant for like me and my mutuals or like my loyal followers, but I have people who are giving me their link to their wish list and then following me right after. It's like, you don't even know what my favorite books are. Anyway, I'm going to turn on my jams and go home. So I just got home too. This? I don't know which one of y'all are spoiling me already, but oh my gosh. I don't know if I should keep all these Christmas presents until, I don't know. Christmas <laughs> or if I should unbox them now. I kind of want to wrap these and put them under my tree <laughs> And then I'll do a whole unboxing on like the day after Christmas or something. That'd be so fun I'm not gonna open them because I know they're book presents. Hi I'm home, but holler and let me know if you want me to open them as they come or if I should just save them all and then do one big unboxing So maintenance guys replaced my light bulbs with LED bulbs now I feel like I can see myself in HD in this bathroom. And I don't think I like that. <laughs> Look at us, we're so cool. Are you hungry? I need to feed the cats before they start the French Revolution. I told you to clean this up this morning. What happened? I for real do need to clean. Look at this. I've been meaning to vacuum for like two weeks. Can you tell how gross my floors are? Okay, come on. I know you're hungry. A few moments later. Oh my god. So I got another package. Y'all better stop. This is getting ridiculous and it's day one. It is a truth universally acknowledged that if I fits, I sits. <laughs> Good boy. My camera was charging, so sorry you couldn't get an action shot of this, but I just cut up some sweet potatoes while my oven's preheating. I'm watching Bonnie, my favorite booktuber, and I'm doing dishes and cleaning. So very interesting stuff happening. I'm definitely sweating from all the cleaning I've been doing. But I'm settled down with my dinner. Since I decided to DNF Faker, I'm gonna start a new book while I eat. So I wanna read The Beautiful. This is a vampire historical fiction book with beautiful end pages, oh my God. It's set in New Orleans. Bonnie, this one's for you. What? You're so needy. Come here. Come on. <laughs> We're so needy. Okay, I got my kitchen somewhat clean. It's in the dark, you can't see it. That's for the best. <laughs> my library closes at nine. I have two holds to pick up and five books to take back now that I'm DNFing Faker. My library is really, really close, so I'm just gonna go there. I'll be there back in like 20 minutes max. Good boy. We here. My library is so festive, oh my goodness. So I got three books, I'll talk about them in a second. But I want to go around the corner because there's so many Christmas lights. I didn't realize they went this hard at decorating, but like look. This whole street is lit up with so many lights. There's a huge Merry Christmas ornament, some gingerbread people. Like, I wanna take Christmas pictures here, that's so cute. And in front of the community center, there's a whole bunch more. One day I'm gonna bully Kristen into coming out here and getting pictures of me because I think it's darling. Y'all said you like when I keep it real during the vlog? This is how hard I breathe after going up two flights of stairs. 
I'm gonna take an L and take off my makeup because I was sweating so hard when I was doing the cleaning. While I do that, I'll do a little mini book haul from the library. So the first book I picked up from the library is Call Down the Hawk by Maggie Steve Otter. This is the companion or spinoff novel from the Raven Cycle trilogy. No series. There's four books. It follows one of the characters named Ronan. Here's my deal. <laughs> I read The Raven Cycle when I was like 16 or 17 and I'm the most unobservant reader even today. So when I read The Raven Cycle, I was reading it very literally and I was like, I love the romance in it between Gansey and Blue. And I didn't love Ronan. I just didn't care about him because he didn't have a romance and all of his character arc is written really like subtly. I was just reading for surface level romance and Ronan was such an intricate character that I stopped caring about because I was like, you're not interesting. So I'm hoping that this book will give him a second chance to shine for me. My best friend Bonnie just read it and I just watched her vlog where she reviewed it and she was saying it was a five star book but the way she described it makes me nervous because it's all about Ronan and his family. And I don't know if I care. I don't know when or if I'll get to this. I just requested it because I wanted to read it eventually. My library didn't have it. One book I do want to read soon though is Crier's War by Nina Varela. Once again, a book Bonnie just read. I love being a copier. But watching her vlog did help me because now I know how to describe this book. This is a fantasy book where there are humans and then there were people who were like made. I don't know if that's like sci-fi embryo technology or if they're robots, but there's two different types of people. The one who entertain and the ones that observe. Hello. Excuse me, I'm talking. For a long time, the humans were the dominant species. This book takes place where the people who were made start to take over. And so the main character of this book is really salty that her family was killed because she's a human. And then she wants to take down the other species of people. I don't know how to describe this book. But then she ends up getting a position in like the royalties place and can infiltrate from the inside. But then there's another girl there and they fall in love. I'm really excited. I'm so pink. <laughs> And then the final book I got, I didn't realize that this one was still on hold for me. I thought it had passed its time. But I got The 10,000 Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. This is a YA fantasy book. I have no idea what it's about other than everyone is giving it glowing reviews and I feel left out. <laughs> Even the synopsis is really vague. It's about a girl named January. She discovers a magical book. I don't know what happens after that. One of my good friends, April, gave this like a full five stars and was raving about it, among other people, but she's the person that I'm like, I trust you, I'm gonna read it now. So those are my three library books. I doubt I'll read them in December, but thank you library for listening to my requests for books and actually buying them for me. Hi, so I realized full well this is ridiculous, but in an attempt to make this seem more Christmassy, I'm going to wrap some of the boxes that I got and put them under my tree and I'm not gonna open them till December 25th. But one of them I got is in this packaging, so I think I'm gonna open this one at the very end just to give myself a little taste but Christmas present wrapping is the best time of year. Admittedly, I'm pretty low on wrapping paper. I might only have enough for these three, but that's just an excuse to buy more. And also I love wrapping presents. So we're gonna wrap presents. I need to play Christmas music while I do this. Otherwise it's not gonna be legit. I'm balling, who's calling? Hey boo, how do you do? Hey boo, how it do? I think you have a spidey sense because right before you called me, I turned on my vlog camera to do a clip. <laughs> and the first thing I say is- I can't get my boots off. <laughs> Hello vlog people, shout out to Sierra. Oh my god. So back to what I was saying. I ran out of tape, so I stopped wrapping my own presents. <laughs> but I still want to open this one and see what it is because it's in a cool package. I can feel she's a paperback. <gasps> it's my fave! Who did this? Lanissa? This book is so good. I'm so happy I finally own a copy. I have a bunch of books on my wish list that are books that I read as library books and now I want them. So I'm glad that I can add some books to my collection that just aren't going directly to my TBR pile. But this is Prince Charming by Rachel Hawkins. This is the first book in a duology about this family from Scotland who's royal and these Americans that fall in love with them. This first one's a 
male female romance between Daisy, whose older sister is engaged to the prince. And so she goes off to Scotland to go to their wedding and their preparations. And while she's there, she meets a guy. Super funny, super cute, like the ultimate feel good book. Love it. In the sequel, Her Royal Highness is a female female romance, enemies to lovers, royalty, and American. It's so good. So thank you, Vanessa. This is going straight to my shelf. I'm so happy. And it came in my favorite type of mailer that I can reuse for shipping out books on Depop. Go follow me on Depop, buy my books. I'm probably not gonna make money off this vlog if I do this, but I wanna sing Frozen Karaoke. You're not a voice, you're just a ringing in my ear. And if I heard you, which I don't, I'm spoken for, I fear. Everyone I've ever loved is here within these walls. I'm sorry, secret siren, but I'm blocking out your calls. I've had my adventure. I don't need something new. I'm afraid of what I'm risking if I follow you into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. I've been laying in bed for like the past hour, not even editing. I've just been sending Baby Yoda memes to my group chat. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a quick shower and then get in bed with my book and try and get a little further into it. So I'm an idiot and I've completely forgot I'd already started a different book on Earth for Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Biong. I'm already 10 pages into this book. It's quite short. It's a fiction but non-fiction inspired book that's written by a character who is the son of an immigrant and so he's writing this letter to his mom reflecting on both of their lives and coming to America and the trauma that his family's had to deal with because they left a war-torn country. This author's first book was poetry and you can definitely Definitely tell this author is a former poet or I guess current poet, I don't know. It's very beautiful. It's told in like vignettes, so they're like little prose poems almost. Gorgeous. If I had this book in a non-library edition, I am for sure I'd be tabbing it up. For the first of many times, I fell asleep while reading last night. My book is literally still propped open. I got to page. I can't read if that's an 18 or a 15. I didn't even set my alarm and I didn't even turn off my lamp before I went to bed. So it's a miracle that I woke up at seven. <laughs> if I'm going to edit this vlog so it goes up today, I really gotta get going on that. So thank you all for watching. And Gordo's hungry. Gordy hungry? Bye.